Narmada Shankar Lal Shankar Dave, the 24th of August 1833 to the 26th of February 1886, popularly known as Narmad, was a Gujarati poet, playwright, essayist, orator, lexicographer, and reformer under the British Raj. He is considered to be the founder of modern Gujarati literature. After studying in Bombay, he stopped serving as a teacher to live by writing. During his prolific career, he introduced many literary forms in Gujarati. He faced economic struggles but proved himself as a dedicated reformer, speaking loudly against religious and social orthodoxy. His essays, poems, plays and prose were published in several collections. His Mari Hakikat, the first autobiography in Gujarati, was published posthumously. His poem J. J. Garavi Gujarat is now de facto state anthem of Gujarat State of India. Early life Narmad was born in Surat, Gujarat on 24 August 1833 to Lalshankar and Navdurga. His family home in Amaliran, Surat was destroyed in the Great Fire of 25 April 1837 but was later rebuilt. He commenced schooling with Nana Mehta in Buleshwar, Bombay at age 5. He later joined Fakir Mehta and Aicha Mehta's school in Surat and moved to Bombay where he attended the government Gujarati school of Balgovind Mehta at Paidani. He returned to Surat where he attended the school of Durgaram Mehta and Pranchankar Mehta. He was initiated in Upanayan at age 8. He started studying at the English school, Elphinstone Institute, Bombay on 6 January 1845, beginning college in June 1850. He delivered his first public speech Mandali Malvathi that a labh the advantages of forming an associations that same year. His mother died on 23 November 1850 and he left college. <laughs> <laughs> Career He was appointed as a teacher at the school of Rander on 1 May 1851. He again recited his early essay in Swadesh Hitekchu Mandali and started Gyansagar magazine in July 1851. He was transferred to a school in Nanpara in March 1853. After the death of his wife Gulab, he left this position and went to Bombay, in January 1854. He returned to college on the suggestion of his friend Javerilal Umiyashankar and joined Budavardik Sabha, a literary group in June 1854. He started learning Siddhant Kamudi. He became interested in poetry and started writing in September 1855, studying literary meter over the following year. He presided over Budavardic Granth from March to December 1856. After his second marriage, he left college in August 1856, writing Pingal Pravish in February 1857 and dedicating it to his father. He joined Gokuda's Tejpal Vidyalaya as a teacher and began studying Sanskrit literary works such as Lagu Kamudi, Chandrelok, N. Rasimhashampu, Kavyachampu, Prataprudra, Adyatma Ramayana. He started at Central School as a teacher in February 1858, then resigned in November 1858 after deciding to pursue a literary career. He studied Sanskrit grammar and poetry in Pune from November 1858 to March 1859. Deciding to study independently, he returned to Bombay in March, where he met Dalpatram, a reformist Gujarati poet, in June 1859, and became involved in reform activities. His wife Dahayori returned to her parents' home. In 1860, he had discussed widow remarriage with religious leader Jadunathja Maharaj, which led to him becoming involved with the Maharaj libel case the next year. The case was filed by Jadunathja against writer Karzandas Mulji after the journalist published an article alleging sexual exploitation of women in his religious sect. He visited Income Tax Commissioner Curtis regarding a surcharge on 3 February 1863. With the help of friends, he started a bi-weekly newsletter called Dandio lit. A drum stick, modelled after British weekly The Spectator, in September 1864. It was loudly reformist in its stand and attacked traditional customs of Hindu society. It ran until 1869 when it was merged with the Sunday Review. On 18 January 1864, his father died, aged 56. He moved back to Surat in July 1865 and sheltered Savitagori, a widow, in a neighboring house. He published Narmagadiya in September 1865. 
He was banished from his caste due to reform activities on 18 August but reinstated on 21 November 1866. The same year, he wrote his autobiographical work, Mari Hakikat, the first autobiography in Gujarati. He published Nayikavishay Pravish and Uttam Nayika dedicated to his then separated wife, Dahayori. In early 1867, he published Narmakavita, a poetry collection. He had debts of 10,000 that caused him great concern. He married again in 1869. He published summaries of Ramayana, Mahabharata and Iliad in 1870. He published the school version of Narmagadhyaya in 1874 and the edition for the government in 1875. He moved back again to Bombay in March 1875, where he met Dayanand Saraswati, a reformist and founder of Arya Samaj, and started to become deeply religious. He published the first dictionary of Gujarati language in March 1876. He founded Vedsarasvati in Sarasvata Mandir of Surat on 16 April 1877. Aryanidadarshak Mandali performed his play Draupadi Darshan in 1878. By 1880 he had become fully believer and performed Upanayana for his son that year. He wrote a play, Sri Sarshakuntal in 1881 which was performed. He published a translation of Bhagavad Gita in 1882. Although unhappy about breaking a resolve not to work for other people, he was forced due to financial difficulties into taking a position as a secretary to Gokuda's Tejpal Dharmahada. He wrote a play, Sri Balkrishnavijay in 1883. His health failing due to the stress of work starting a hostel, he left his job on 19 July 1885. After a prolonged eight-month illness, he died of arthritis on 26 February 1886 in Bombay. Works Narmad is considered to be the founder of modern Gujarati literature. He introduced many creative forms of writing to the Gujarati language, including pioneering works in autobiography, poetry, lexicography, historical plays and folk literature research. He was an outspoken journalist and pamphleteer. Narmad was a strong opponent of religious fanaticism and orthodoxy. He promoted nationalism and patriotism with famous songs such as Sahu Kalo Jitva Jang, wrote about self government and discussed having one national language, Hindustani, for all of India, nearly five decades before Mahatma Gandhi or Nehru. His poem J. J. Garavi Gujarat, written in the preface of Narmakash, listed with a sense of pride all the cultural symbols that go into constituting the Gujarati identity. These symbols included things non-Hindu, implying that Gujarat belongs to all the castes, communities, races, religions and sects that live together there. The poem is now de facto state song of Gujarat. Mahatma Gandhi acknowledged him for his philosophy of nonviolence. His major collected works are Narmagadhyaya Gujarati, Narmagadhyaya collection of prose, Narmakavita Gujarati, Narmakavita collection of poems, Narmakathakash Gujarati, Narmakathakosa collection of stories of characters of mythological literature and Narmakash Gujarati, Narmakosa dictionary. His Mari Hakikat, the first autobiography in Gujarati, was published posthumously. Topic. Poetry His volumes of Narmakavita, 1-3 Narmakavita, 4-8 and Narmakavita, 9-10 were collected into Narmakavita, Book 1 Later Narmakavita, Book 2 was published. All his poetry was later collected together in Narmakavita his poem. J. J. Garavi Gujarat, 1873, is used as a de facto state song for Gujarat. Topic: <laughs> Prose. His Rasa Pravish, 1858; Pingal Pravish, 1857; Alankar Pravish, 1858; Narmavyakaran Part One and Two, 1865; Varnavachar, 1865; Nayika Vishay Pravish, 1866, are his collections of essays on poetics with historical importance. Ritavarnan, 1861; Hinduani Padati, 1864; Kavicharit, 1865; Saratni Muktasar Hakikat, 1865; Iliadnosar, 1870; 
Mahapatram Rupram Mehta 1870, Mahapurushona Charitra 1870, Mahabharatano Sar 1870, Ramayanano Sar 1870, Sarshakuntal 1881, Bhagavadjatanu Bishantar 1882 are his prose works. His other writings between 1850 and 1865 collected in Narmagadiya and posthumously published Narmagadya are his other prose works. His essays are collected and edited in three volumes. They are Narmadgadya or Narmadashankar Lalashankarna Gadiamak Granthono Sangra, edited by Mahapatram Rupram Nilkanth, Narmadnu Mandir Gadya Vibhag, edited by Visvanath Bhatt, and Narmadgadya, edited by Gambarsan Gohil. His fifteen prose works were collected in Junu Narmadgadya Part 1, 2, 1865, 1874, and are also important. He had researched and edited several works. Manohar Swami's Manhar Pad 1860, Narmakash, Issue 1 1861, Narmakash, Issue 2 1862, Narmakash, Issue 3 1864, Narmakash, Issue 4 1865. Narmakathakash 1870, Kavya Sangra 1865, Stri Geet Sangra 1870 of songs popular in Nagar Brahmin ladies, Premanans Dashamskand 1872 and the complete issue of Narmakash 1873 are his edited and researched works, Tushli Vaidvyachitra Dialogue, 1859, Ramjanaki Darshan 1876, Draupadi Darshan 1878, Balkrishnavajay 1886, Krishnakumari are plays and dialogue. Dialogues. His Sitaharan was a previously unpublished play. Rajarang Part 1, 2 1874, 1876 are his works on ancient and modern world history. Dharmavishar is his work on philosophy. Gujarat Sarvasangra and Kathiawar Sarvasangra are also historical works. Mari Hakikat, his autobiography written in 1866 and published posthumously in 1933, is the first autobiography written in Gujarati. His notes and letters were later published as Uttar Narmad Charitra. Adaptations Narmad, Mari Hakikat or Narmad, My Life, a critically acclaimed soliloquy based on his writings and life, was written and directed by Harish Trivedi and performed by Chandrakant Shah. It premiered in Dayton, Ohio, U.S. in 1995 and later toured India, the U.K. and France. Chandravedan Mehta wrote a play based on his life. Honours <laughs> <laughs> Narmad's house, Saraswati Mandir, has been restored and converted into museum. Several places in Gujarat were named after him, such as Central Library in Surat. Busts of him have been erected in Ahmedabad, Vadodara and Surat. In 2004, South Gujarat University was renamed Veer Narmad South Gujarat University in his memory. A replica of his house is also constructed in the university campus. The literary honor Narmad Suvarna Chandrak has been yearly awarded by Narmad Sahitya Sabha, Surat since 1940. A special cover was released by India Post on his 175th birth anniversary in 2008. <laughs> Personal life He married Gulab, daughter of Sariram Shastri of Sutter Court, Surat, on 29 April 1844. She gave a birth to girl in 1852 who died 15 days later. Gulab herself died on 5 October 1853 following a stillbirth. In May 1856, he married Dahayori, daughter of Tripuranan Shastri, she separated from him in 1860. He married Subhadra later Narmadagori, a widow of his caste, in 1869, breaking the customary taboo against widow remarriage. She gave birth to their son Jay Shankar in 1870. He worked as a clerk for Bombay Municipality, and never married, dying on 31 March 1910 of the plague. <laughs> Contest with Dalpatram 
Just at the time when Narmad was emerging into celebrity 1859, Dalpatram who had already won his laurels, happened to visit Bombay for treatment of his eyes. Lovers of Gujarati poetry, they met together, and in the poetical contest that took place, naturally they warmed up and their audience took sides as to who was the better poet. The result was a lifelong estrangement between the two. The contest was continued in the public papers and a humorous paper. The Parsi Punch, a weekly, published a cartoon, in which they were represented as fighting each other with the top knot of the hair of their heads in their hands. See also List of Gujarati language writers <laughs> Notes <laughs>